everything we see today started out as an idea, scribbled down on pieces of paper or lost in the far regions of our mind. I used to think that there were things like bad ideas, but I've, I've revised my opinion on that. So, you know, these, these same, same bad ideas could turn out to be the solution in, uh, in different problems that we have. So one day, finally, I converted my ideas into action. I tried them all out, even the bad ones. And by simple trial and error, I, I learned. Arigato. I discovered. When I look around the campus now, I see endless possibilities. It's not so much that the world is disappointing right now, but it's improvable. Thank you. Rather unfinished. Well, and of course, not just for me, but, but for everyone. And there are so many different ways to do that. So much, in fact, that it, it can seem overwhelming at first, but I mean, where would you start? That all changed when she entered my life. She, she just walked in and she showed me how I, sh I shouldn't think so small, but, but think bigger, and told me about the Corporate Social Responsibility Program, about how this university wants to make, make you know, these, these, these small ideas into tangible reality, to convert them into action. She told me how there's this program that's working on socially responsible ways of running corporations to provide durable research and education. We talked about the endless possibilities we could create if they were to take responsibility as a, as a unit, as a whole, by innovating in all areas. You know, business, environment, worth ethics and education. What she, rather we want to do is find durable solutions. Projects always start out with ideas before they're put into action. We want to turn Corporate Social Responsibility, CSR for short, into a integral part of the organization of Tilburg University. The core thought of CSR is to make Tilburg University a healthy place on economical, ecological and social level. All improvements and ideas could be community-wide endeavors and we invite everyone to give voice to their thoughts. We do this so that the brilliant ideas that are buried somewhere in the corners of our mind are given the chance to become reality. After all, what good is an idea if it's never given voice? <laughs>